When we hear the word undercover, James Bond or Ethan Hunt comes to mind, but in reality, none of these depictions of an undercover agent or spy are close to reality. In fact, they are shaped by fictional writing. As we see in movies, the high-speed car chases, exchange of fire in streets with people running around where everyone can see them can be the Hollywood's version of a spy mission, but you will be surprised how these undercover operations have been shaping our reality for a long time. So in this video, we're going to talk about some of the top undercover operations in the world. Before we start, if you are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe, turn on notifications, and hit the like button so you don't miss out on upcoming videos. That being said, let's dive in. Number 1. Entebbe Rescue One of the most successful and high-profile missions ever pulled off by the Israeli's intelligence agency, Mossad. I am sure almost all of you must have heard the name since the agency is considered the best in the world, even better performing than the CIA. Entebbe Rescue Operations started when a passenger plane was hijacked by Ugandans and took the plane. Mossad agents dress as Ugandan soldiers. One of them was even made to look like the president of Uganda, Idi Amin. They created a perfect replica of Amin's motorcade. They approached the airport with such confidence that everyone believed that it was Amin himself. The limousines they drove were packed with ammunition and they were ready to attack with machine guns and silenced weapons. They raided the airport and killed every hijacker and Ugandan soldier, secured the hostages, and flew out before anyone could find out what had happened. To add insult to injury, they even blew off almost 30 of Amin's jets on the way out. Number 2. Operation Valkyrie Hitler, during the Second World War, became the biggest target in the world, with everyone trying to end his reign of terror. Several attempts were made to neutralize Hitler, but none of them were able to do so. One of such attempts was Operation Valkyrie. A man called Colonel von Stauffenberg went undercover and became a close associate of Hitler. His main motive was to assassinate Hitler, but it had to be called off a number of times. Eventually, on the 20th of July 1944, the operation was carried out. A few minutes later, after placing the briefcase, he left the room. Unfortunately, someone found the briefcase in his way and moved it to the other side of a heavy table leg away from Hitler. When the bomb exploded, Hitler escaped with an injured hand and damaged eardrums. Number 3. The Infiltration of Eli Cohen If one wants to learn how to go undercover, then one should learn it from this man. Eli Cohen was actually a Mossad agent who not only got into Syria, but also into the Syrian defense establishment. Unfortunately, he was finally caught and sentenced to death. It is said that it was only because of him that Israel was able to capture the Golan Heights in 1967. Number 4. Operation Iceman This story has every recipe which can make it a mind-blowing film. Richard Kuklinski was a mafia hitman who claimed to have killed up to 250 people in his criminal career. The police had failed every time they tried to catch him. The responsibility of catching him fell on the shoulders of Agent Dominique Poliferon. The responsibility of catching him fell on the shoulders of Agent Dominique Poliferon. When they met, Kuklinski was given cyanide to carry out the planned murder. Polifron recorded every conversation, and Kuklinski was arrested not long after their exchange and was charged with five counts of murder. Agent Polifron's courage finally paid off. Number 5. Operation Wrath of God During the 1970s, Mossad agents assassinated a number of people said to be connected with the Black September group which had killed 11 Israeli athletes and a coach at the 1972 Munich Olympic Games. The so-called Operation Wrath of God, which aimed to hunt down those responsible for the attacks, Mahmoud Hamshiri, who Israel said was the head of Black September in France, 
was killed by a bomb that was detonated after he picked up the phone in his Paris apartment in December 1972. Nearly one year later, Israeli agents targeted Ahmed Bushiki, a Moroccan waiter working in Lillehammer, Norway, whom Assad had confused with Ali Hassan Salama, one of the Black September leaders. He was shot dead in front of his pregnant wife as they emerged from a cinema on July 21, 1973. When the Mossad agents tried to leave the country, six of them were arrested and sentenced to prison terms in Norway. Ali Hassan Salami was eventually tracked down by the organization and killed by a car bomb in Beirut, Lebanon in January 1979, which reportedly killed eight other people. Number 6. Operation Neptune Spear one of the most known terrorist leaders and highly controversial personalities who has been a subject of interest for decades, many operations were conducted to capture or kill Osama bin Laden. But none of them had succeeded until finally he was located in the city of Abbottabad in Pakistan at the location of Bilal House at 1 a.m. A team of 20 Navy SEALs breached the walls of the safe house with explosives they reached the room where Bin Laden was identified, they shot him twice in his chest and on the left side of the head, killing Bin Laden at the safe house. After the assassination, they took the body to Afghanistan for identification and within 24 hours of the execution, the body was buried at sea. Until the information was revealed to celebrate the decades-long chase, he was finally put to rest. Number 7. Joran van der Schlut this one stands out for a simple reason that unlike most other undercover operations, this one was carried out by a single individual. He made him confess his involvement in various crimes, including the disappearance of the American teenager. One such tape revealed Schlut discussing the illegal trafficking of sex workers in Thailand. Schlut was sentenced to 28 years in prison for the death of Flores. Number 8. The Rachel Hoffman Case She was a young girl in her 20s who was arrested with marijuana and ecstasy pills. She was facing jail time and was given the option to become a police informant and spy. Thus began her undercover sting. Interestingly, police lost track of the car halfway and even Hoffman disappeared. Her body was recovered two days later. It is assumed that the people found out about her undercover sting. The story could give any Wood Hollywood film a run for its money. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to watch more videos like this, subscribe to the channel and like this video. Thanks again for watching. I will see you in the next one.